Hello and welcome everyone to CAFE. I'm Crystal Candy. And I'm Clarence Reynolds. Great to be back with you to share all of the fun and exciting events happening this week. So I had a chance to go to a new venue slash restaurant slash shake bar here in Orlando right off of International Drive called Jojo Shake Bar where the food, the nostalgia, but the shakes are way over the top and I can't wait for you wow. to see it. When you look around in JoJo's Shake Bar, you're gonna smile everywhere you look because the nostalgia runs deep in here and the food, the shakes, they are off the charts. And to tell us more about that is Jay Smith, who is the manager here at JoJo Shake Bar. Now the shakes look incredible, but it's there's so much more than just shakes that you guys <laughs> offer here. Yes, definitely is. Um, JoJo Shake Bar is uh, original, uh, diner Classic, um, we are an 80s and 90s nostalgia twist to your American diner in a sense. And so we originated out in Chicago and we brought ourselves down here to Orlando where the 80s and 90s made a great culture here too. Um, and you're going to find that we provide a different variety of things here. We like to go over the top a little bit <laughs> here a at JoJo's bit. for sure. Um, so we um, offer a wide range, not just our shakes, of course our decadent desserts you have, um, but you're also going to have some amazing homemade comfort foods. You're going to have some great kind of diner classics like your New York style daily sandwiches. Um, and then we put a JoJo spin on everything, right? So we have a wonderful list of cocktails here, handcrafted cocktails, um, ranging from things like a trickster for kids, for mocktails, just for children. Um, but of course, we want to cater to our adults to make sure we're enjoying ourselves. And so we offer um, some uh, a champagne sangria, things like that as well. So the shake is really catching my eye. The cocktails, yes, as an adult, when you come in here in the evening, I'm sure you get a lot of people from the convention center as well. Definitely. Great to enjoy those. And the JoJo spin, is it just all about fun? Because that's the vibe that I get when it is, you come Yes, in. I mean, it's right on our title, right? Shakes, fries, and damn good vibes. That's what we're all about. So um, you want, we want you to come in and really have an immersive experience with us. And so you, we want you to definitely have a fun time, but we want you to interact, not just with the food, but also with our cocktails, like our cotton candy here, um, our tricks for kids, and even our cotton candy martini. You can dip it right in there, watch it disappear. People really love it. Let's talk about what we have in front of us, which yes. is just one of your signature shakes. How does JoJo go about getting all of that into a single cup? <laughs> well, you can thank our amazing um, pastry bar and our shake station for that. Um, they spend many hours getting these lovely desserts and pastries together. Um, and so here you actually have our pumpkin packed shake. Every now and then we like to do some seasonal items. Um, and we range right now, we have our pumpkin patch coming up, we have our winter wonderland um, where we'll do some different items as well. This is going to have a, um, a candy apple on top of it with a pumpkin pie, we put a toasted marshmallow, you got a toffee pretzel there filled with some graham cracker and some pumpkin spice, which everyone really loves too. So what reaction do you get from people? I mean, from your signature cocktails to the shakes. This is such a different place, and it's hard to stand out in Orlando being the number one destination, but <laughs> in a few short months, you guys have done that. Yes, we absolutely have, um, and honestly, uh, a lot of that is really just due to that uniqueness in the 80s and 90s culture, right? 80s and 90s was about that funk, that vibe, that bright energy, and that's what we wanted to bring to the store and to our food. And so we kind of allow the food and our desserts to do just that on their own. Um, and with that, like I said, that interactive experience, that immersiveness when you come in here, it's not just eating a simple sandwich, you know? It's not just taking a simple shake. We wanted to go over the top with it. Um, and so that's what our guests really love. Usually you got that wow factor um, there involved and a lot of our guests are really, really uh, enjoy that. And the food also looks incredible because this is not just a shake bar, yes. you offer We're a, a wide variety. restaurant. Yeah, exactly. And so many people don't really realize that. They'll see the shake bar on top, but we actually serve a wide river, uh, range of food um, here as well, um, from suppers and sandwiches, entree options. Let's talk a little bit about our cocktails because you yes. also offer mixology classes at certain times. Yes, we do. The year. Absolutely. Um, right now, we're offering a basic witchology where you can make some of our seasonal based cocktails. Um, but on a normal basis, on Mondays and uh, throughout the month, they can come in and experience making some of our handcrafted cocktails right here. 
as well. Um, one of those would be like our Smoking Hot Blonde, actually in particular. Oh. Um, and we dedicate this drink to our Smoking Hot Blonde of the 80s and 90s over there, the lovely uh, Madonna, of course. Madonna, of course. <laughs> that is all the 80s and 90s Absolutely. and today. And today, is right? She's relevant anytime. <laughs> Um, and so with that, what we wanted to do was kind of just take this really cool drink. It uses mascal, so it has a nice little spice just like she does, right? Um, and we put a nice cherry on there, and it comes with a cinnamon stick. And we call it our smoking hot bond because you can kind of take our flame here and we'll light it up. And then once you light it up here, what you want to do is just garnish this right on top of your drink. And we're just going to sit it right there and just kind of let those aromas open up. The energy inside of here, even though we haven't got a packed house just, just yet, yet yeah. the energy is here. What would you tell people if they haven't been to JoJo's as far as, you know, what else to expect? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say what you want to expect is really just having an overall good time with the family, with your friends. You're going to come here, you're going to love different things like our shot ski, you have our shot wheel where you can kind of let, it's like a Russian roulette in a sense. You know, sometimes people have no idea what they want to order. So you can come up, spin that wheel, it's going to decide for you. It's super interactive. Of course, we have our arcade games, so we can't go without an 80s and 90s feel without having some Pac-Man in the room too. So um, it's very, very interactive. It's super fun um, and very memorable, which is what I love about it. So what's it like to be here off of iDrive? Um, you know, iDrive is very different. Um, I think the great thing about being in this specific point is that it's bringing together the business aspect, but also that fun culture with all the theme parks here. And then of course we have Universal opening up very soon, and we plan on definitely evolving all those factors into the restaurant to give the guests the ultimate experience. You had me at shakes. Yeah. But I have it on good authority that the food is good too. The food is great. And yeah, the <laughs> shakes are so much more than a shake. It's like a whole experience. So oh, wow. Leave your diet at the door. Yeah, yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. The Garden Theater presents The Nightmare Before Christmas on December 12th. The film follows the misadventures of Jack Skellington, Halloween Town's beloved Pumpkin King. He stumbles upon Christmas Town and plots to bring Christmas under his control but he soon discovers his attempts are causing confusion. Showtime is at 7 p.m. Go to thegardentheater.org for more details. Head over to the Orlando Museum of Art for Art Night Out Artful Ornaments with Maria Coville. Embrace the holiday spirit as you paint your own festive ornaments. During this workshop for adults, you'll create a trio of mini masterpieces perfect for decorating or gifting. Art Night Out takes place on December 13th at 6 p.m. and you can get more information at omart.org. The Orlando Shakes annual cabaret series features Chase Paget, Six Christmas Strings. Chase is a solo performer who embodies six different guitar playing characters, each representing their own genre of music, including jazz, country, classical, and more. The show has been called a storytelling masterpiece. This two-act, one-man show takes place throughout December. Go to orlandoshakes.org for showtimes and tickets. Zachary Bartholomew Trio presents a Charlie Brown Christmas, the music of Vince Guaraldi at the Blue Bamboo Center for the Arts. This award-winning musician will take you on an interactive and informative concert experience featuring the compositions and arrangements of jazz pianist Vince Guaraldi, including his music from television's A Charlie Brown Christmas. The concert happens on December 15th at 8 p.m. Get tickets at bluebambooartcenter.com. The Asian Lantern Festival is back for this holiday season at the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. And boy, the pictures look stunning. And Lee Pappert is here with the Central Florida Zoo to tell us about this and what we can expect. It looks like a must-see event. It absolutely is, Crystal. This is your next holiday tradition, and we can't wait to see thousands of people at the zoo this uh, holiday season. It's going to be great. When I think of lanterns, before I really saw the video, and I can't wait to come this year, yeah. I thought of a small light fixture, but these are really elaborate and just stunning. Uh, stunning isn't the word. Dazzling, uh, elaborate, 
small is definitely not accurate. These lanterns, uh, there are some small ones, but there's some that are 20 feet tall and, and 50 feet long. So uh, it is an immersive experience uh, in the Chinese culture and the Asian culture. Uh, and we, this is the fourth year we've done it. Uh, it's presented by Publix and we couldn't be more thrilled uh, to, to host it every year. And I know this hasn't been around for that long. This is, I believe, the fourth, fourth year. Fourth year, that's right. We're, we, we, it's, it's, it's hard to believe it's been three, we've already done three years, but- Really? Yeah, we're coming on, it's, it's, it's great. So these lanterns, they yeah. are all handcrafted and they come from artisans from China, correct? Yes, absolutely. They're all handcrafted by artists in China. Uh, it is uh, created in a partnership uh, with a group, a cultural group, to help raise awareness and understanding of the Asian culture. Uh, and it's these lanterns help to celebrate uh, uh, the, the, the culture, uh, the world, the holidays. Uh, and and I, I, I dare you to come and not have a smile on your face when you see this experience. I've seen dragons, I've seen a flamingo walkway, I've seen a dragon that goes across a pond. And you know what you're <laughs> gonna see this year? Please tell me. Dinosaurs. Okay. So you got to come see some dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs and Christmas. You know, we all make it work here in Florida. Hey, we're all kids at heart. <laughs> and who doesn't love a giant uh, 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 lighted up dinosaur? So the Asian Lantern Festival, being that it is the holiday season, it's sort of like Christmas lights. But to your point, it's experiencing Asian culture, and it's also celebrating the holiday season at the same time, yes. which I think is so engaging for people. How do people react when, when they come through this exhibit? Well, uh, if, if my wife and I were any indication when we went through it last year for the first time, we did not know what to expect, and we walked away absolutely amazed. Um, it, it's 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 an incredible walk. It's it's a, a, a sample of an incredibly diverse crowd from uh, Orange County and all over the Central Florida region. It's um, people of all ages. It's families. It's grandkids, great grandkids, the grandparents, the families. It's out of town family that has come in to visit for the holidays that wanted to do something new together. Um, it, it's just it's just a wonderful time to be uh, uh, amongst community. Uh, is the way I, we felt when we went through it last year. And, and then you're added in, you get, there's live music, there's, um, uh, you can get s'mores, there's cocoa, you can get some other snacks and treats to eat. I mean, it just, uh, it, it makes for a wonderful uh, time to be with your friends and your family. It sounds like such a fun event for everyone from all over oh, the yeah. community. And I'm hearing that this is starting to become the number one holiday event from all of Central Florida. It's well, so well attended. We're not going to complain if it truly does <laughs> become that event. Uh, last year we had, uh, we, we'll expect about 90,000 people to come this year and, and it's, it's going great so far. Um, we're just, we couldn't be more pleased the way it's coming together and, and becoming a, a, a regular tradition for folks. So my understanding yeah. is it's about a three quarter mile path through yeah. the zoo. And if people haven't been to the Central Florida Zoo, I love it because it is very much a Florida immersive experience. You're in nature, you're walking through the zoo. So that's where the pathway goes. And also you're not gonna see the animals. This is all about the Lantern Festival because they're right. in their beds asleep. Yeah, they're resting at night, it's <laughs> nighttime. Uh, the, the zoo uh, hosts the Asian Lantern Festival in the evening. Um, you do need to purchase your tickets early because tickets go out fast, but uh, it's in the evening. You will not see any animals, but you have a nice little experience. You have a nice walk on a very uh, easy boardwalk. Uh, there's no possible way of getting lost. We have lots of people there to help make sure you go the right direction. Uh, and, and you're gonna want to go through the path because every lantern you see, and, and there's more than, there's several hundred lanterns that you actually see in more than 50 different vignettes, the way everything's set up. Uh, you're gonna just be drawn. You're gonna wanna, what's next, what's next, what's next? Everyone just, and you just keep walking. And the next thing you know, you just had an, a wonderful 60, 90, uh, 120 minute experience. Oh, very nice. And I know it is sponsored by Publix and I was speaking to Will from the zoo mm -hmm. and he told me that there is a special lantern 
in honor of Publix that people really love. <laughs> it's not necessarily the Asian culture, but it's a nod <laughs> to well, Florida. Well, <laughs> uh, Plato may uh, make, a, make, a, make an appearance this year uh, and, and does make an appearance this year. Uh, looks like the, the, the Publix uh, lantern. Okay. The, or the Publix mascot, I should so say. So look out for, for the Publix mascot. You but... never know what you're gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, a beautiful way to experience the holidays yeah. and a beautiful way to really experience Asian culture and the Central Florida Zoo all at the same time. That's right, that's right. We, um, it's a one, like I said, it's, it's an immersive experience. I have to tell this story. You mentioned this uh, a minute ago, you used the word engaging. Yeah. Uh, I met a nice couple um, last year, uh, six months ago or so. They told me they their first date was at the Asian Lantern Festival, uh, now three years ago. Uh, they and then they started courtship, uh, and then last year at the Asian Festival, a Asian Lantern Festival, they did get engaged. Uh, so it is definitely an engaging experience. <laughs> That's so sweet. I don't know if the wedding is going to take place this year at the festival. Say, they haven't contacted us about that. But uh, <laughs> but it just you never know what you're going to see when you get to come uh, to the Central Florida Zoo. Awesome, Lee, thank you so much for joining us today. And the event runs through the middle of January, actually. So check out the Central Florida Zoo's website, centralfloridazoo.org, yeah. for more information and for tickets. Thanks so much. It's my pleasure, thank you. Don't miss a swingin' Christmas, the holiday music of Tony Bennett at the Winter Park Playhouse. Ring in the holidays with this unforgettable evening of quintessential Tony Bennett songs featuring 18 classical holiday tunes. You'll also enjoy the standards that we've come to love from Mr. Bennett. There are several showtimes now through December 16th. Head over to winterparkplayhouse.org for tickets and showtimes. The Imagine Performing Arts Center in Oviedo presents One Man, A Christmas Carol, December 15th through the 17th. This is the Charles Dickens classic performed by one man. That's right, Tiny Tim, Bob Cratchit, Marley, The Three Ghosts, and Ebenezer Scrooge are all performed by actor David McElroy. This solo interpretation is suitable for both adults and children. And for tickets and showtimes, go to imagineperformingartscenter.org. The Lake Nona Town Center is being transformed into a winter wonderland known as Peppermint Square. It's all for their holiday event, Oh What Fun, with nightly snowfalls, live entertainment, and acrobat shows. Oh What Fun will make the holidays magical for everyone. There are lots of events taking place throughout the month, so check out ohwhatfunlakenona.com for details. One of the most popular events of the holiday season is back. The Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens presents its annual Asian Lantern Festival, Into the Wild, on select nights now until January 14th. The festival features all new, larger-than-life lanterns, including a section of dinosaur lanterns. It's a holiday tradition of light, color, and sound that celebrates traditional Asian lantern festivals, and you can get details at centralfloridazoo.org. I tell you what, I have not been to the Lantern Festival yet, but seeing the video and the photos, it looks just completely stunning. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to go. Yeah, this is a really good week to get out. Lots going on. Get out and have fun. Yeah, take advantage. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for this week of events. If you have one you'd like to share with us for next month, send us an email at cafe at ocfl.net. I'm Crystal Candy. And I'm Clarence Reynolds. Remember to join us next week to see what's new and exciting in your community.